Hello everyone. My name is Nitin. I am a SAP Certified Development Professional. I am taking a course on SAP Hybris Online Training. In this course, I will be covering all the topics of Hybris starting from basic to advanced. The topic which I will be covering today is add-ons. So I will give a brief about myself. I am a Senior Hybris Developer and this is my email at nitin.hybris at the rate gmail.com. So if you need any information regarding this course or regarding this topic, you can reach out to me over this email ID. I am a trainer and I am a SAP Certified Development Professional. So, okay, so let's get started with the today's topic that is add-ons. So in this, uh, in this lecture we will be covering what are add-ons, advantages of add-on, how we can create a SAP Hybris add-on and how to install the add-on on, on the storefront. So I will talk about add-ons. So what are add-ons? Add-ons are something which extends the functionality of SAP Hybris Commerce Accelerators. So if you have a ready-made website developed by you, let's say you have a B2C Accelerator installed and you want to add some additional functionality to it without hampering the existing code. So at that time you will start uh, installing an add-on and that add-on might have the front-end capabilities, might not have the front-end capabilities depending upon the, uh, the add-on which you install. So uh, as I as I said, what are add-ons? Add-ons is a add-on is built up on the on the top top of the existing SAP Hybris Commerce to extend the functionality of SAP Hybris Commerce Accelerators. Now add-ons are a form of extension only that allows you to add front-end files. That is the JSP, CSS, and JS via add-on. So it may have and may not include front-end. No editing in the core code of SAP Hybris. That is. If you have a B2C accelerator, you don't need to modify the existing core functionality of that accelerator. Instead, you just install the add-on, you can uninstall the add-on and that functionality can be added and removed. So all the changes you can do on in your add-on and those will be reflected to your core module. Now what are the advantages? So advantages, the first advantage of uh, using add-on is that it adheres to the best practice of uh, best practices in SAP Hybris development. So it is considered as a good practice if you uh, separate your co uh, your add-on logic uh, from the core logic. Like, uh, I mean, uh, if you have a different functionality, you can you should separate it from your core logic. That means if you don't want to use it, you can just simply uninstall it without modifying the existing code. Now it's uh, it safely upgrade upgrade your core SAP Hybris code without the need of excessive development. So you don't have to develop each and every file and each and every classes uh, for that. It it gives you a ready-made functionality which you can add and you can enhance your existing uh, existing B2C storefront or B2B storefront. You can add or remove the add-on whenever needed without refactoring or uh, otherwise rewriting the code. That means you don't have to uh, modify your existing code. You can just simply add and add or remove the add-on. So this was these were the uh, this is the basic uh, overview of add-on and what are add-ons and what are its advantages. Next one is how we can create an add-on. So there are uh, separate temp uh, certain templates which are being provided by Hybris. So you can uh, use them also or you can create an empty add-on also by yourself and you can add your own uh, functionality to it. So let's say I will I'll be creating here a simple new new add-on, not the existing ones. I'm creating a new add-on. So what you need to do is you need to go to the Hybris bin platform directory. So at the platform directory, open the CMD and run the first command that is the set and dot uh, set environment dot bat, which will set your environment. Next one will be uh, running the end ext gen, but for add-on. So once you run the end ext gen, you need to give the template name. Just run this simple command. This will I will mentioning in the uh, description also, but for explanation purposes, I am explaining what it does. So, ntxtgen d input template that is the what template you want to give. So, here I have used the y add on template that is the default template that is the basic uh, empty add on. So, if you want to create an OCC add on, you should uh, use the OC y OCC add on here and then you can give the name of your add on. So, here I have given training add on as my input name. And this is the package com.hybris.training. This is my add-on package. So these three things you need to give. So once this, once you uh, run this command, what will happen is you will have your training add-on created in your custom folder. So if I talk about my custom folder here, so if I go to my custom folder, you will see the training add-on being created after you have uh, run this command. So once this command is run, you need to 
give this extension the newly created extension training add-on into the local extensions .xml file so just open the training a uh, local extensions .xml file give extension name equal to training add-on whatever the name you have given here you need to give it here and then just run and clean all this will generate the extension files after you run the uh, and and clean all you will have the training add-on created and uh, everything will be at its place so now you have your training add-on created next one next step will be the installing of the add-on at the storefront the, your custom storefront so my storefront's name is training storefront here i will be going to install my newly created add-on same procedure you need to do it you need to go to the platform directory you need to run the set, set environment dot bat file bat command then you just need to run this command add and add on install this is command for adding the uh, adding uh, or installing an add-on on your particular extension so i need to uh, install this add-on at my storefront so what i'll do is i'll give my add-on name here you can give multiple add-on names here also by comma separated uh, add-ons names and you need to give which to which storefront you need to install it so i will be installing it at my custom storefront that is the training storefront so here you have to give add-on install command then the name of the add-on then the accelerator so training storefront accelerator uh, training storefront i will be giving here and what it will do is it will create it will install this uh, add-on the training add-on at my training storefront so if I go to my code, what I will have, will have in my storefront, once I run the and, and clean all command after installing this, if I go to my training storefront here, so it will create one, just a second, yeah, it will create one directory that is for add-on SRC. All the add-ons which are be installed on this uh, storefront will show here. So here I am say, I'm saying training storefront here, training add-on on my storefront. Yeah. so whatever controllers whatever code i will do in my training uh, add-on once i run the and clean all it will copy all the code to my storefront this is how the installation part of add-on works now if i uninstall this uh, add-on by running the and uninstall command instead of install i will be using add uninstall what it will do is it will remove this this directory structure from here and my add-on will be uninstalled without hampering my core functionality so whatever code i have done earlier in my other extensions it will not it will not uh, like it will not hamper it so next step will be adding gsps to my training add-on so this will this step will be covered in my course the in my uh, in in my particular course which i am taking all these all these steps we will be doing into that step i will show what we will be doing so here i have my i have created my on controller that is the training add-on controller in this controller i'm fetching all the details of a uh, product by giving the code and uh, once this request mapping is hit by uh, someone on the storefront i will be able to see the jsp of uh, our training add-on so that jsp also i have created here so all this part will be covered in my training uh, course so this is my uh, jsp which i have created so once you run once you hit the uh, request mapping which is there uh, which is mentioned over the controller you will be able to see the uh, this data which i have shown here in the table so for that we have to modify the training add-on web uh, spring file also to add the component scan also and to the end packages also so all these things will be covered in my course i hope you have liked the video and uh, if you have liked the video just give it a thumbs up and if you have any queries regarding the course just reach out to me at nathan.hybris at the gmail.com here i will be uh, explaining and you will i will be giving the details about the course thank you and have a nice day